हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ फाइव बैंड्स क्वेश्चन इज शोन एज अ 300 हंड्रेड एम डायमीटर पाइप कैरीज वाटर अंडर अ हेड ऑफ 20 मीटर विथ अ वेलोसिटी ऑफ 3.5 मीटर पर सेकेंड इफ द एक्सेस ऑफ द पाइप टर्न थ्रू 45 फाइव डिग्री फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स एट द बेंड नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस न्यूमेरिकल एज अ डायमीटर इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो वी विल राइट डी इक्वल्स टू डी वन इक्वल्स टू डी टू इक्वल्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड एम एम नाउ वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस एम एम इन टू मीटर एंड इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट थ्री मीटर नाउ वी विल हैव द डायमीटर ऑफ द पाइप सो वी विल फाइंड द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द पाइप Which will be equals to a one equals to a two, and the formula will be equals to pi by four into diameter square that is capital D square. On putting the value of capital D as point three here, and on solving this, we will have area A equals to zero point zero seven zero six eight meter square. Now velocity v will be equals to V1 equals to V2, which will be given in the question that is 3.5 meter per second. Similarly, theta is also given in the question that is 45 degree. Now we know that from the continuity equation that Q will be equals to area into velocity. So we will write Q equals to A V. On putting the value of A as 0.07068 and V as 3.5 meter per second. On solving this, we will have the value of Q equals to zero point two four seven five meter cube per second. Now pressure head is also given in the question that will be equals to twenty meter of water. So we will write P upon rho g will be equals to twenty meter of Water. Now, on solving this, we will have P equals to twenty into rho into g. Now we will put the value of rho here as thousand, and the value of small g is nine point eight one. On solving this, we will have the value equals to one nine six two double zero newton per meter square. Now pressure intensity P will be equals to P one equals to P two, so it will be equals to one nine six two double zero newton per meter square. So V one x will be equals to three point five meter per second, and V two x will be equals to V two cos forty five degree. On putting the value of V two as three point five into cos forty five degree, it will be equals to Three point five into zero point seven zero seven one. That will be the value of V two x. Now V one y will be equals to zero, and V two y will be equals to V two sine forty five degree. On putting the value of V two as three point five and sine forty five will be equals to point seven zero. Seven one. Now, P one A one in x direction will be equals to P one A one. So it will be equals to one nine six two double zero into zero point zero seven zero six eight. On solving this, we will have the value equals to one three eight six seven. Point four one six. Similarly, P one A one in y direction will be equals to zero. Now, P two A two in x direction will be equals to minus P two A two cos forty five degree, which will be shown here. So it will be equals to. Similarly, P two A two In y direction will be equals to p two a two 
sin 45 with minus sign which is shown here. So it will be equals to minus P2A2 sin 45 degree. Now force along x axis, it means that when we resolve the forces along x direction, we will have Fx equals to rho into Q V1x minus V2x plus P1A1 in x direction plus P2A2 in x direction. On putting the value of rho as 1000, Q as 0.2475, similarly V1x as 3.5, and V2x as 3.5 into 0 0.7071 plus 196200 into 0 0.07068 minus P2A2 cos 45 degree. On solving this, we will have Fx equals to 253.68 plus 196.200 into 0 0.07068 minus 196.200 into 0 0.07068 into 0 0.7071. On solving this, we will have the value of Fx equals to 4316.98 Newton. Similarly, when we resolve the forces along y direction, it will be equals to Fy equals to rho into Q V1y minus V2y plus P1A1 in y direction plus P2A2 in y direction. On putting the value, we will have 1000 into 0.2475. Now the value of V1y will be equals to 0 and V2Y will be equal to 3.5 into 0 0.7071. Similarly, P1A1 in Y direction will be equal to 0 and P2A2 in Y direction will be equal to minus P2A2 sin 45 degree. On solving this, we will have the value of Fy equal to minus 10420.44 Newton. Now we have to find the resultant force. So resultant force Fr will be equals to under root of force in x direction whole square plus force in y direction whole square. On putting the value here that is 4316.98 whole square plus minus 10420.44 whole square. On solving this, we will have the resultant force equals to 11279 Newton. That will be the value of resultant force. Now, we have to find the direction of resultant force from the horizontal. That is, tan theta will be equals to Fy upon Fx. Now, the value of Fy is already determined. That is, 10420.4444 upon the value of fx will be equal to 4316.98. On solving this, we will have the theta equals to 67 degree 28 minute. That will be the direction of resultant force. That is all about this numerical. Thank you very much students.